Oh, sorry, I must um, apologize. Um, we got um, disconnected earlier, um, but we are ready to. We are ready to pray. We are ready to um, pray um, to the Lord and we trust the Lord um, to carry us through this moment. Uh, I see there's people connecting. Welcome. Um, so I apologize for the earlier um, disconnection. Um, so today is day 13 of 30. Um, we could not connect yesterday, uh, but we are back. Um, we might not have connected online, but definitely we continued to pray as we continue to. Now, um, I want us to take, you know, um, a prayer point. Um, we, we, if, if you can turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 5, um, I'm fighting against time. And also, I want to remind you that today, that if you have prepared yourself, I don't want you to feel compelled to do anything. Um, if you have prepared yourself, it's a day of fasting. Um, we are fasting until uh, 6 uh, p.m. Um, it's just, you know, a way of um, adding to our prayer fasting. Now, fasting is a way of humbling ourselves before the Lord. Um, it's a way of, um, you know, showing our dependence on Him. So, I would encourage you to participate uh, in the fasting. How is the fasting? We, we don't take solids. Um, we, we basically on liquids, primarily water, but I don't want to be over... You know um, instructive so yeah um, Luke chapter 5 verses 1 to 11 um, it reads from the English Standard Version on one occasion while the crowd was pressing on him to hear the Word of God he was standing by the lake Gennesaret and he saw two boats by the lake but the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing. But um, at your word... I will let down the nets, and when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boats to come and help them. They came and filled the boats, so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me. For I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now you will catch a man. And when they have brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him now i want to highlight what seems to be the obvious from the scripture and i think it's important for us to to take note and take it to heart uh, that there were two types of people uh, there in that day number one there was the crowd that was there to hear the word, um, you know, they were there to see the miracles, the signs and the wonders. And there were fishermen that were washing their nets. 
and for me it was or oh, it catches my attention to see Jesus you know leaving the crowd to go for the fishermen he left the crowd he left the consumers he left those that were there to take from Jesus now there's nothing wrong with receiving from Jesus he actually invites us to come unto him all of us that are um, you know are, are heavy laden uh, and weary and he promises us rest so uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with coming to him with needs but it seems like Jesus is attracted to those that have embraced the virtue of hard work and and here we see him abandoning the crowds i mean to think that jesus came um to he came to to reach the world with the gospel but he left the crowd for the workers and you know he borrowed peter's boat and he used peter's boat for a moment to teach from and he challenged peter you know to um to 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 get to put to put it into the a little bit in deeper into the water and he instructed him to draw a catch so here's one thing i want to say when we meet jesus's need he meets our needs that's what he did with peter he needed a boat and peter availed his boat and jesus gave peter a catch now this is consistent with scripture because um that's what happened to david when david had an intention to build god a house god said to him i will build your house so at this moment i will want us to to pray i will want us to pray and my prayer this morning is that our lives and every aspect thereof would be committed to christ that our boats which basically would speak to our careers our everyday life our way of life that it would be committed to christ that you know our plans would be in line with his plans and i think that that's what i would want us to do we have prayed a similar prayer for our country but in this day of fasting i would want us to commit our ways to the lord now that that's a serious prayer point uh, because in the book of hagai when um god was reprimanding the children of israel he would say to them through the prophet hagai consider your ways consider your ways in the book of isaiah 55 god is clear to say that my ways are not like your ways in the book of psalms god says uh you know he revealed his ways to moses but his works to the children of israel the difference between saul and david were their ways okay so i want us to pray and say god we commit our ways to you our way of living our way of thinking our way of doing family because sometimes we can be children of god but we can have our own ways that are contrary to the ways of god so we want to commit our ways to god we want to commit our lives our way of life to god and i really think it's a very important um you know um uh, uh, i think it's a very important uh, prayer point uh, so i want to encourage you to pray with me right now it's a way of committing your life and really submitting it to the lordship of Jesus. So if you will pray with me right now, Father, in the mighty name 
of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I want to bless you. I want to honor you. I want to exalt you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth this morning. Lord Almighty God, as we take, Lord Almighty God, a moment, Lord of fasting, a moment of putting food aside, Lord Almighty God, to seek your face, Lord, to seek your heart, to seek your will, to seek your ways, O oh God. Father, we, we commit our ways to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You have made it known to us that your ways are not like our ways, that your thoughts are not like our thoughts. As the east is from the west, so are your ways from our ways. So right now, we commit our lives to you. We commit our ways to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as Peter committed his boat to you, Lord, and Lord Almighty God, afterwards, he caught, Lord Almighty God, a, a big catch. We pray, Lord, that, Father, as we commit our ways to you, Father God, will begin to walk in conquest, will begin to walk in victory in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, for as long as we are in charge, our lives are marked with toil, Lord Almighty God, with fruitless work, marked with barrenness. But Lord Almighty God, I thank you that when you lead us, when we take your way, Lord, you, you open the rivers, you make a way in the wilderness. You cause us, Lord Almighty God, to walk on dry ground. Father God, crooked ways, you make them straight. Lord Almighty God, mountains, you, 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 you flatten them and valleys, you fill them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we have tried, we have toiled, and right now we commit our ways to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Our ways of parenting, Lord Almighty God, our way of living, Lord Almighty God, our way of handling finances, we commit to you, O oh God, every aspect of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We thank you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Now, now beloved, um, just for you to know, uh, maybe you're wondering why I'm not acknowledging you and anything. Um, it's because I can't see your comments at all. So I can see uh, many of you. At least I can see the faces, um, you know, but I can't see your comments at all. So please be aware of that. Uh, number two, I want us to take a second prayer point right now. I, I want you to, uh, um, to ask the Lord uh, to resurrect your dreams that have dry, died. Um, your dreams, your visions, um, you know, uh, your life purpose, you know, in any way you have been derailed in your destiny. I want us to pray right now. Uh, you know, some of us are at a place where we're only washing our nets, okay? We are not interested in anything anymore. We're just washing our nets. We are ready to retire in life. Uh, but I want us to pray right now that God would begin to... You see, when Jesus came uh, to Peter and his crew, they were washing their nets. They were done for the day. And Jesus got them back, you know, um, to, 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 to the water. You know, he got them back to the water. He got them to, to work again, you see. So I want us to pray right now. In, wherever you are at in your walk with God, wherever you are at in your life, maybe like saying, you know what, I'm done. I'm washing my nets. I'm ready to hang the boots. I'm ready to retire. Here comes Jesus. And he gives them a dream again. He gets them back, you know, uh, he gets them to put their hands back on the plow. He gets them back into the water. So I want us to pray for resurrection of dreams, that God will stoke the fire of passion in you again. 
that you would try again, that you would not give up, that you would not give in, that you would not throw the towel, that you would not hang the boots. God, resurrect, bring to life the dreams again. Can we pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus? Some of us are so discouraged so disappointed we have failed so much in life we are ready to quit lord we're washing our nets to hang them we're washing our nets lord almighty god to just retire lord i pray right now as you're done with peter that father god you would begin to resurrect that you would begin to stir up that you would begin to cause us lord almighty god to want to try again in the mighty name of jesus you said in your word seven times a righteous man falls but he rises up again Father, I thank you that we shall not quit, that we shall not give up, that we shall not give in, in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare right now, in the glorious name of Jesus, that dreams are resurrected. Lord Almighty God, vision restored, in the mighty name of Jesus. Passion, Lord Almighty God, vitalized. Mambro Stokomang. People, Lord, are going back to work. In the mighty name of Jesus. No one, Lord, is just going to go by, Lord Almighty God. But every one of us is going to live a life of purpose, Lord Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, thank you. Father, I honor you. And, and bless you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Now listen to this. Um, in, in, when, when Peter saw the catch, for, for the first time, he had a true uh, revelation of Christ and of himself. That day, you know, he saw Christ differently and he saw himself differently. And... Uh, when he, when he saw Christ, he began to see himself. He said to him, go away from me, for I am unclean. Go away from me, for I am unclean. Now, this is so important for us to understand this. Because what Peter, you know, whereas the people were astonished, Peter himself began to see himself, in, in other words, all the deception left him. Now, this is a very important thing because sometimes we can live under an illusion. We can live under deception, you know, deceiving ourselves, you know, but, but God was gracious to Peter that day that he gave him an opportunity to see his own heart. Um, he had a revelation of his own heart. And, um, you know, the Bible says, um, verse 8, when, when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees and said, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man. You see, that, that, that's a confession. That's a confession. And that, that, that's a turning point. So I want us to pray that God would, would, would reveal to us those secret sins, those things that are hiding in us, the deception in us, you know, uh, the, the false you know, stuff that we have fed ourselves that is, that, that is really robbing us in our walk with God. I want us to pray at this moment that God would reveal our hearts to us. Hallelujah. That's what happened to David in, in Psalm, um, uh, when you read Psalm 51, when Nathan confronted him. Uh, for the first time, he saw the condition of his heart. And there he repented. Okay? So I want us to pray to God that he would really reveal our hearts, you know, and reveal those secret sins, that we may deal with them, you know, that, that through the blood of Jesus, that through the cleansing of the word, we would begin to deal with those things. Come on, let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible, Lord, makes us to know that there are secret sins, Lord Almighty God, that hide in our hearts, that, Lord Almighty God, we are unable to detect on our own and cause us to walk in deception and cause us, Lord Almighty God, to lie ourselves. But right now I pray in the glorious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that you would reveal this to us, Lord Almighty God, that we may begin to walk in truth, that we may 
may begin, Lord Almighty God, to walk in righteousness, uh, that we may begin to walk in the light. Uh, Father God, in every area, Lord Almighty God, of darkness in our hearts, uh, where, Lord Almighty God, there are concealed lies, concealed sins, uh, Lord Almighty God, shine your light on them right now, that we may begin to walk in truth, uh, that, Lord Almighty God, uh, we may not deceive ourselves any longer. In the mighty name of Jesus, help us uh, to see you correctly and to see ourselves accurately. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Father, that, Lord Almighty God, we will not be deceived. Father, the Bible says, do not be deceived. God is not mocked. I thank you that even in our own walks, we will not walk in deception. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so, Father, I thank you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. You see, beloved, in Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 9, um, and in Psalm 51, we get pointers to pray this prayer because, you see, our hearts can have dark spots and we have areas of deception. Now, the Bible says, you know, a little fly in the, um, can spoil the oil of the perfumer, you know, um, the Bible t uh, also talks about in the book of Songs of Songs how we must uh, take away the little foxes that spoil the vine. There are small things in our hearts, you know, th those small lies, those small deceptions, you know, that cause us to walk inaccurately. You know, they cause us to walk in deception. So, so I really want us um, to, 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 to trust God that as we have prayed, He has heard us. And, 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 and we'll begin to walk in truth. We'll begin to walk in the light. Amen. The Bible says the path of the righteous shines brighter and brighter. In other words, we're going to walk in the light of God. Hallelujah. So I, I, I really felt that prayer as, as we are praying. Uh, now, I want us to pray for sensitivity to the instruction of the Lord, that we may obey, that we may be sensitive to the instruction of the Lord. You see, Peter could have said no. Sorry, Peter could have said no because I mean he had, he had, he had a valid expl explanation that we have toiled the whole night, and it is said that uh, fishing at night uh, was the best time, and and here comes Jesus in broad daylight. And he commands them, uh, or rather instructs them, you know, to launch their nets into the deep. So what am I saying? I'm, I want us to, 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 to really uh, pray for a sensitivity to the nudgings of the Lord. When the Lord instructs us, when the Lord, you know, nudges us, you know, to, to take certain actions, uh, to embark on certain tasks, uh, that we may be sensitive enough you know, to, to, to obey and act accordingly. Look in the case of Peter. Do you know what happened? He, he caught so much uh, catch. Why? Because he obeyed. So I want us uh, to pray uh, that God help me, you know, not, 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 not to be deaf to your nudgings. Because he's not going to shout the, the instructions. It's going to be that small, uh, uh, still voice. Uh, that is going to say, uh, do that. You know, uh, I remember when we started this 30 days of prayer, I was in my own time of devotion. And, and the Lord said, we need an awakening. And that's where the theme awake come from. Um, you know, I, I, I could hear, you know, this small voice in me, you know, saying it's time for the sleeper to awake. And, and, um, and literally, the following day, I made that call, literally, to say, look, uh, we are starting a 30 days of prayer. Um, and and, and, and I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that I obeyed because my own prayer life has been, has been, you know, um, has been challenged, you know. And personally, I'm also in another journey, okay. I'm in another journey that um, I will not announce here, but um, I'm, I'm doing something I've never done before, you know, in these 30 days. And, and, and I'm glad that, um, you know, at least in this one thing, 
I could say yes to God. As much as this was a small nudging, you know, and and I'm I'm challenging you because we are praying for for grace to hear the instructions, the sensitivity to the instructions because the instructions are not going to be loud. You know, it's not going to be a a loud commandment. It's going to be a small, you know, a still voice. It's going to be a a nudging to say that and that and that. Okay? So so yeah, let, let us pray right now. Father, you 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 instructed Peter to 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 go a little deeper into the water and to cast his net, Lord Almighty God. So so Father God, we we are praying also that would have ears of God that hear that we may be able to to pick your instruction that we may be able to hear you when you instruct us that we may Lord Almighty God receive your nudgings Lord your guidance in the mighty name of Jesus even in things that we would consider foolish in the case of Peter Lord it was instruction Lord to to launch Lord Almighty God a little bit deeper in broad daylight and as an experienced fisherman Lord Almighty God he didn't see that as a good instruction but it did it anyway and it benefited him immensely Lord Almighty God and it benefited his partners immensely Lord and and the people were astonished because Lord it was a miracle so father i thank you in the mighty name of Jesus that we also have such Lord Almighty God a sensitivity to hear your nudgings to hear your voice to hear your instruction not only to hear God but to obey you said Lord the man that hears and 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 obeys is like the man that builds his house on the rock father there's triumph there's victory there's conquest in obedience so father i pray for grace to obey quickly lord like abraham when lord you instructed him to leave he obeyed quickly when you instructed him lord to 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 to, to go to the mountains to offer a sacrifice he he obeyed quickly lord i pray in the mighty name of jesus that would have such lord a grace to obey you quickly in Jesus mighty name hallelujah hallelujah so um i i really want you to hear to understand this prayer point that we have just prayed right now the secret to our success is the instruction of the lord Now how does the Lord instruct us through the scriptures that still small voice is not going to be anything contrary to the scriptures that still small voice is going to be what is called the rema the proceeding word the word that proceeds from the mouth of God but it's going to be the word of God so i really want to encourage us on this prayer point i think it's the key to us walking in the fullness of the things that God has called us to do it's what i call for my own life just in time instructions you see when you walk that that territory that you have never walked before where your experience proves to be of little help that's where you need the instruction of god when you do things you have never done before hallelujah let let me tell you something i i shared this with my wife the other day that in prayer i mean it's a couple of it's a couple of months ago when this happened to me in my prayer uh, i heard this yearning in my heart to do to walk with god in a way i've never walked before so i came up with a concept that says like never before i actually have a song it's my own song i don't sing it anywhere but in my prayer closet um which which goes like never it says never like never before i want to live like never before 
I want to worship like never before. I want to serve God like never before. I, I want to do, you know, what I've never done before. So I have this, you know, theme in my heart. Uh, that says, like never before. Now, if you're going to have a theme like that in your heart, like never before, it means that you'll find yourselves in territories you have never walked before. So you need instruction, you need guidance, because there's one who has been there before, who knows where you are going. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it we say when we sing that he's got the whole world, in his hand. So he knows you're never before, you know. He he knows that he's been there before. Okay? So 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 when we pray for instruction, you, you see that I'm landing here because I feel that it's the core of what we've been praying for. The grace to take instruction from God, not only to hear them, but to walk in them. Not only to hear the instruction, but to walk according to the instruction. Hallelujah. That, that, that's really what I want to land with right now. I want to land with this, that God would give us grace, the sensitivity, you know, the sensitivity, the sharpness of hearing, you know, the sharpness of hearing. The Bible says, let him that has an ear hear what the Spirit is saying. And I want us to pray that the Lord would give us an ear. It doesn't say he will have ears. Okay, he says here, who has an ear, we want the ear, you know, to hear the voice of the Lord, an ear in the spirit to hear the voice of the Lord. And that is Father, we pray, Lord Almighty God, for a sharpness of hearing. Lord Almighty God, a sensitivity, Lord Almighty God, to pick up the nudgings, to pick up the guidance, oh God, so that we are not like mules and horses that need to be bridled, Lord Almighty God, before they can, Lord Almighty God, follow, before, Lord Almighty God, they can follow instruction. We want to be those that are sensitive, Lord, to your voice, to your nudgings, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so this day, as we continue to pray, I really want to challenge you, especially those that have prepared. Remember, we've made an announcement that today would be a day of fasting. If you have prepared yourself, I want to encourage you to continue to do so. Um, we will break the fast at, at 6 p.m. Uh, in your own time, you will, you know, go to your closet and you will break the fast. Um, the whole point of this prayer, 30 days of prayer, is to strengthen your personal devotions. It's to wake you up. So you will notice that I do a, a very little, um, you know, group uh, uh, prayers. Uh, under normal circumstances, I would have organized a Zoom meeting for us to gather to break the fast. But... You know, the way I, you know, um, would feel that the Lord wants us to do this one is that God wants you to do the praying. Um, I was telling I was telling my wife that I'm not um, giving prayer points because also I want you to to lay, to pray as led. I'm not done giving prayer points, but I've stopped for a time because also I want to pray. I want us to pray from the abundance, um, you know, of the heart. I want us to pray our heart. The Bible says that it is the fervent uh, prayer of the Lord. I have prayer points. I have them. I have a lot of them that I've compiled, but I'm not sharing them because also I, I really want us to begin to walk with the Lord, okay? Uh, because the Holy Spirit will lead us. He will show us the way to take. So that's why I'm not sharing the prayer points for now. Um, so, yeah. I want you to understand also, it's not because I'm not preparing them. I have quite a lot of them um, that I have prepared, um, you know, uh, for, for basically to cover us for the duration. But I am not sharing them because I want us to pray. Um, there's, there's a positive and a negative in sharing prayer points. I've shared it even on Tuesday at church uh, when, we're, when we're doing prayer. 
um, the the one the one um, aspect of it is that it's a it's a moment of learning. That's the positive. It's a moment of learning. But the negative one is that it calls us to pray, number one, short prayers. Uh, there's a place for long prayers. Uh, number two, it calls us to depend. In other words, you, you just don't know how to pray unless you are given prayer points, which I think would be a very uh, sad situation. So please um, spend the day prayerfully, uh, read the word, hear what the Lord would say to you, and you know, take every step as you are led. I have to stop right now. Let me pray for you. Uh, Father, I want to pray in the name of Jesus for your children, Lord Almighty God, especially those that would be partaking in the fast. Father, I pray that you strengthen them. I pray that you carry them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray, Lord Almighty God, that this fast will precede conquest and victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We commit the day to you, sensitize us to your voice, that we may hear you, that we may follow your instructions, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Beloved, as I mentioned, I unfortunately cannot see your comments. I can see a few people, but you see, I only see one, two, three, four, five. I see the number of people. Um, from my screen, I see about 22 people, but um, I can see only four, uh, five people showing there. I see the pictures. Um, so that's all I can see, basically. But God bless you. Um, thank you for connecting. Um, remember, tomorrow is Saturday, so we will connect online again on Monday. Um, God bless you until Monday. We continue to pray. We continue to seek the face of the Lord uh, every day. Um, at some point, I will share the prayer points again and, and stop again because the, this, is, this, is, this is an awakening. So there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a reason why we're doing it the way we're doing it. But God bless you. Let's meet online um, on Monday again. Bye-bye.